Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to share with you guys a 4x6 card that I made for Sammy D, who's hosting a Halloween movie challenge. And she's extended the deadline to the end of the month, so there's still time to play along if you want. I will put a link in the description box below so you can get all the details from her movie challenge video. The movie that I picked is Practical Magic. You know, when I was young, I really liked super scary movies like The Shining or The Omen or Psycho, even gory movies like Hellraiser. But as I get older, I kind of like Halloween movies that are almost warm-hearted and have a good message. And I think Practical Magic has a great message of women bonding and supporting each other and sisterly love. And um, I just really love it. And uh, I picked this quote to write out. I wrote all of this out myself by hand rather than just using a font off the computer, which I don't know if it was smart or not, but I think, you know, this handmade um, card deserves, you know, a really handwritten uh, quote, I guess. <laughs> this is a quote by Aunt Frances Owens, who is played by um, Stockard Channing, the woman who played Rizzo in Greece. And the quote says, my darling girl, when are you going to realize that being normal is not necessarily a virtue? It rather denotes a lack of courage. And that's her message to Sally Owens, who's played by Sandra Bullock. I mean, this cast is just amazing. Sandra Bullock, Nicole Kidman, uh, Diane Weist, uh, Weist, Weist, West, um, who plays Jet Owens, the other aunt. Uh, it's just wonderful. If you guys haven't seen it, you should check it out. I made this using some uh, Halloween papers. I don't know if you'll be able to see the font, but there's little Halloween words in the background. Um, and like I said, I just tried to do kind of a curvy Halloween-y font to write out the quote. Uh, all these little brooms I cut out using this super cute Diversions broom die that was gifted to me by Julie, who's Thrifty Paper Garden. Thank you, Julie. It was perfect for this project. Um, I also... Uh, in order to get the 12 brooms around, usually a coven has 13 uh, witches, but in this movie they use 12. Um, so I have 12 brooms around, and in order to squeeze all of them in into this 4x6 card, I had to kind of make some of them wonky, but it left me room to add little hearts, which I punched out using my little EK Success Punch. Um, and I then glittered everything up along the sides using my Folk Art uh, extreme glitter black paint and when it first comes out if you guys end up using this you'll think it's like milky white and not going to be transparent but this is how it dries it's really fantastic and I just used my paintbrush and went all just on the inside so over all of the brooms and all the way to the outside to kind of create a framed look around the quote and I think that came out super cute I hope you like it Sammy and then on the back, I used some more um, Halloween papers. I put punched out or cut out one more broom. And then I made this little tag to have all the information that she requested about me on the back. Um, I won't show that. And then these little cutouts were from the Steampunk Spells Nevermore paper. Um, and I picked these images out in particular because I thought this represented the ants very nicely. This represented the rose bush that grew out where they had buried the body of Nicole Kidman's uh, Gilly Owens's boyfriend. And this is the frog that ends up spitting out his ring. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the movie, you don't know all these references, but it is a super cute movie. So if you get a chance and you haven't seen it, check it out. It's uh, a great movie. And that's my card. I hope you like it. Uh, Sammy, and it'll be in the post to you today. Hopefully get to you in time for the end of your challenge. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.